Hi there, once again welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Maki tag in HTML to create an amazing moving text within your web browser. So it could be on your web page. So you want to create a text moving either up and down or from left to right within your web page or your website. You want to show some text like that. You can easily do that using a Maki tag. So without much ado, let's jump straight into action. So I'm going to go into my browser, sorry, my text editor, and then I've just created a new blank document. So I'm going to create this using this particular document. So I want to save this to my desktop. So I'm going to save this directly to my desktop and I'll first open this within the browser. You will not see anything. So this is it. I'll open with my browser for now. You will not see anything. So let's go to the text editor and then I'm going to generate a template, the HTML template. So you can use the shift key and then press one on your keyboard to give you the exclamation sign. Then by hitting the tab key, you'll get a template for HTML. You get a standard HTML5 template as you can see now. So let me just give the title and say Maki. So I'm going to create Maki. I will leave it as this within the body. That is where anything I want to show within my browser, I'm going to put it. So within my body, let me use the Maki keyword. So with my key, Maki keyword, I'll just hit the tab key. So within the opening and the closing tab, the text that I want to show moving on my browser, I'm going to put it within the opening and then closing tab. Remember, we have the behavior. We can set the behavior for our Maki and also set the direction. So if you take note, what we have over here is moving from what? It's moving up. We can even allow this to move down as well. And then we can also allow it by default it's going to move from what the right to the left okay so let me show you that so i'm going to go to my browser and then within my marquee let me put h1 header and say this this is a moving text so i'm going to save this and load it within my browser and when i load this you should see this Okay, so this is what we created. If I load this, you could see by default. So you could see what is happening. So by default, this is moving from what? The right to the left. We can change the direction of this by using the behavior of our, our behavior in the direction. So I'm going to show you how we can use the behavior and then we can also use the direction. So let's jump straight into action and then make some few changes so we can set the behavior of this marquee so what is the behavior you can by default this is to say we want this to alternate so we can use the alternate keyword so let's save this and load it and see what is going to happen so we go back to our browser and we load this So we have set this thing to alternate. So what this means is that when it will move to the right, when you get to the right, then you move back to the left. So, so this is going to alternate. It will move from left to right. When you get to left, then it will move back to right. It's not going to be as the scroll one, the default one. With the default one, it will move, go, and then it will come back. Okay, so we've set the behavior for this to alternate. Let's... Let's try and give a background color for our marquee so we can go there and then within the marquee keyword within the marquee tag i can give a style and say and give a background color of so i'm going to give a background color of brown and i'll save this okay so i have a background color i just wanted to see what exactly is happening i'm going to change this text to white for you to see what is happening now so this is alternating and i'm going to change this color of my text so i'll go ahead and say color so remember i'm using an inline cascading style sheet css i'm using an inline so i'm going to set this color to what white so you can see the white color on my brown background so i'm going to load my page once again you can see that my text is now white so at this moment, I'm going to show you the various behaviors that you can do or you can apply to this particular marquee. 
So like I said by default. So I'm going to switch the default back to. I'm going to change the remove the direction again. The alternate. I'm going to remove it, and then you could see what is going to happen. The default. What this. What is going to do? By default. Let's see what this is going to do. So let's see. When it move to the left, let's see what is going to happen. So everything is going to move and disappear. And then it will start again from what? The right in that direction. So that's, that's the default. It will screw in that order. So you can see it has disappeared. So that's one particular behavior. So it will try to screw. But if I change this behavior. So if I change this behavior to alternate. Alternate this way. And I save this. This time around. When it get to the right, when it get to the left, it will not go. It will just hit and then move back to what the right in that order. So there is a difference. So we can also change the direction. So the direction could be up, down, or right. So let's go and then change the direction now. So we have direction, and we can see up. So we can change the direction of this marquee up, and let's look at what is going to happen. I reload this. And see what is happening you will see that the text has been already set to alternate so with that it's going to alternate in that order we can also sit down you can also change that one to down so you can sit down okay let's save this one and look at how this effect is going to work so it's basically going to be similar so it's going to move up and then to come down from its original position and then I'm also going to change it to right. So the direction can also be right. So by default, we notice it's moving from right to the left. So let's also set this one to right and see. So you see what is happening now. So this time around, it's moving from left to what, right. So these are some of the techniques, some of the things you can do for the marquee. Okay. So let's also add some few properties. This will keep moving, so it's looping. It this can loop for several times as your your page is active. You can set this one to loop, let's say for two, and then everything will stop. Let's look at if how we can do that. So I can easily come here, add a property, and see what loop, and set this one to what two. Let me load this and see what is going to happen when we give it this one of a loop. So let's look at how this is going to work. So let's wait for a couple of minutes and see. And we expect this one to look for two times, go twice, and then we expect it to disappear. Okay, so sorry to not disappear by to stop. Okay, so we've set the loop to two. So it will move, hit, go and hit again. So it will loop twice and then it will stop. So that's the looping. What again can we do? Let me remove this loop property. I have another property I can call scroll delay. What about using the scroll delay? We set this property to let's say 10 and let's look at the speed. So this is going to be something relating to the speed of our text. So this I've set this one to what 10. And look at the speed that is which is going so this is determining the speed of our text what about if i put this one around so you see this one is around 200 look at the speed at which is going it's moving very slow it's moving very slow very very slow but so when you decide to put it around Let's put this around to scroll delay and see. So you see how fast this one is moving. So you realize that the higher the figure, the slower your text is going to move. Okay, so you take note of the difference. The differences between this. We have what we call the scroll amount. Let's also set the scroll amount and look at how this is going to work. So that's the last thing I'm going to talk about. Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content so screw amount i'm going to set it to something around so let's say 20 and let's see how this is going to work so you see so this one is more faster than the screw delay 
so the screw delay will delay the processing which this is going to move so this is the screw amount so we want to set the speed and if i move this look at what is going to happen if i set this figure to some let's say 200 you see this is going to move faster so if this one is just like directly opposite of this directly opposite of the screw delay so you see so the higher the figure the faster this text is going to move on the screen so the lower then the slower the text is going to move so this is directly opposite the screw delay so these are some of the properties or some of the effects you can use when using the MacQ tag okay so remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content I create content around graphic designing, web designing, software development, and other amazing IT tricks and tips. So stay tuned and share this video with friends. We another time. Stay safe. Bye bye.